the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our weekly Chica Chica. 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 This is good. Yep. So we are here in Paseo Highlands Park. It was established 1999. And of course, it's a huge park. And there's nothing that says no drones. Yes. I have to remember that. True. We could try. So there's some really, really cool amenities. Basketball court, tennis court. There's a children's playground there. I will wish their swing would fit me, but we'll see. Oh, there's another one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's one that. Fits. Somebody found swings big enough. Yes. Okay, updates. What have we done this week? That uh, this is being posted a day later than normal. Yep. Over the weekend, we had a uh, long, not really intense discussion, but a long, serious discussion. Yes, we did. And we've got a major channel update announcement but it's not going to be coming until around January, February. Yes. So you'll have to bear with us while we get a bunch of things up, ready and going. True. And today I've actually got a different, uh, hopefully, as you can see, the wind's blowing a little bit well today and we've got a wind sock for this. So I can't see the screen. So if we lose you, we're, we're just gonna have to periodically check and see if the, cause it covers up the yep. the front screen. So I don't see, see if it's working anymore. So we gotta show you the park because it's really cool and it's amazing. Isn't it exciting? Yes, it is exciting. <laughs> okay, turn on. Check it out, turn. There's actually a big senior center as well as community center in this park. It's a pretty cool place. Later, I will have my picture taken. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our weekly, weekly Chica Chica. We haven't been exactly the stellar posters on this and keeping up with everything weekly. But like I say, this weekend we had we had a pretty, uh, I don't want to say intense because it, it wasn't that kind of a discussion, but it was, it was a serious discussion and it's we came to some, we came to some conclusions and we, we, we came to a major decision that unfortunately we're going to have to wait until, like I say, around January, February to make an official announcement, but there will be a major change coming. We can, we can say that much. Yes. And I know we're going to enjoy it. I know we're excited about it. And we're already starting preparations in that direction. So that's kind of where that one's at. And we really can't say much yet. So, yeah. But we're also starting to get ready for our trips that in. 15 and 31 days, we are out of here for a while. Yeah, you for six weeks, me for two weeks. Eh, about three weeks. 17 days. Two days travel. 15 days. So two Ziggy. weeks and one day. But we get to go back to the Philippines. I finally knew my grade. What's my grade for that last subject I took? It was an A. Minus. I expected no less from you. I thought it's a C. I was so sad. <laughs> I said no way, but I guess I had to see. It's a um, A minus. It's a really good one. Uh, for me, it's well. I've been like 
seriously. So overall, my GPA is 3.66. That's not bad. Now, is this last class, is it a required class or is it just a... It's a required class. So you do have to pass it. Yes, I do need to pass it. Because it's one of the major class I, I will have an analysis plus thesis build up together and so yeah it would be interesting but I'm looking forward for it no matter how hard it is I will I shall do pass in that class that's my goal and but even if you just get a C, even if you just squeak by with a C you're, you're still gonna graduate yeah, yeah. Your, your GPA is high enough that that's not a question yes okay my lowest score was B plus overall so I have like a lot of A minus. Oh, that one. Yeah, I know that class. You had the B plus in. Remember that class? Yeah, you were not happy with that instructor. That's December of 2017. <laughs> yeah, and I remember that class. And that, that, yeah. I have a really, um, I might have also like a video on just to discuss about my class and my majors, or kind of like a short video, just as a recap, a summary. Um, what's going on, what to expect, what's the difference between online and traditional class and you know you think American, that would be American a American first Filipino yes and yeah I, I want to share that too for all the Filipinas who came here in the US wanting to study so what are their um, options because I tell you tuition fee here in USA is expensive Same. Insane. Like I see the tuition fee in Suleiman University for taking masters for one semester it's like four hundred ninety two dollars for That's... twenty four credits. Imagine that! Isn't like oh my gosh, I'm paying like five hundred ninety dollars per credit hour. Per credit hour, close to six hundred. And actually, Phoenix University, I mean ESU, it's six hundred dollars per credit for graduate level. For for bachelors. Oh, for bachelor's level. Yep. It's probably higher than that for graduate level then. Yeah. So, but that would be I will give you some recap ideas, tips on that one uh, in this coming video. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, because videos are going to be a little bit of a challenge here for the next. Well, like I say, in 15 days I'm going, so I got to have a couple videos up and ready to go as I'm traveling yeah and then um, I kind of we kind of um, what else do we we're kind of like putting we already put categories in our YouTube YouTube channel like Philippines Phoenix mission. right that we've made the, the channel the uh, video list yeah and we have tips we have um... and this channel still growing and uh, the upcoming change is gonna is gonna make a little bit of a channel change, channel change as well so yeah. and we're just gonna have to see where and how that plays out yeah uh, the, until we get back you're off classes right now yes I'll be back on school on the and so August the, 22nd until I leave we're gonna try and do as much get as much beside classes uh, beside videos pre-recorded so that I can assemble them while while we're separated. While we're there, while I'm there, I'm actually gonna see if I can get uh, Papa or uh, Cha Cha or, or some of those some of those guys to help me with doing the uh, uh, Messiah versions. Yeah. And see see how they'd be see how willing they'd be to do that with me. Either they will react passive aggressive, they will like kind of yay or not telling no, I don't want to do that. They're gonna like, yes, and then like and when you ask them, can we do it? And then they will have an excuse. We'll see that. It would be a passive aggressive thing. <laughs> hey, I just counted that up, right? <laughs> <laughs> we will see how that works out. Uh, there's a good chance that we're gonna go to Bahal for a uh, couple days yeah we'll see and if we if we manage to pull off that trip that there's a another youtuber that moved there off uh, beginning of this year 
that we're going to try and hook up with and do a little bit of a collaboration with. Yeah. Uh, before you get there or sometime after you, well, your, your time is so limited that I don't know if we'll be able to go into Cebu and do a meet up with uh, Amazing Philippines. I don't know. And I'd kind of like to do a collab with him if he's up to it, but um, if not, we can figure that one out. I don't know yet. We don't really have plans. We need to put that plans yet. I don't yeah, want to get frustrated and kind of agree with you with just not <laughs> passive aggressive thing. I'm learning. Yeah, that's, as you can tell, passive aggressive is going to be another uh, tips, uh, marriage tips video coming up here really quick. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's really. What else? Uh, um. We. Oh, okay. Oh, we went to church yesterday. Yes, that was actually pretty it cool. It was really cool. It was. And immediately afterwards, you guys had a uh, Filipina kind of a chica chica night out, or uh, uh, well, yeah, kind of chica chica for you, for girls chica chica. And then we you have a dinner pizza. We go to sleep. Um, Saturday, I have my first ever experience on the. PlayStation. The, it was really cool. It was really cool. I feel nauseous or dizzy after that. <laughs> but it was a cool experience. Like you, you're like in a theater, in a movie theater, and I get a chance to play down. Like I got so carried away and emotional. And you like, did a. Uh, you didn't do just a PlayStation game. Uh, my son has a. I it? can't remember the name, you know, Beat Doctor or something like that. Beat Saber. Beat Saber. Beat Saber. That it's a VR, it's a, it's a virtual reality where you wear the goggles and this stuff is coming at you like in, in real life. And I, I got a short video, we'll, we'll, we'll post that one. Yeah, it was. <coughs> I'm carried away. That it was, it was funny to watch her. Uh, Did I? Am I really funny enough? Yes, it was. It was hilarious. Oh, really? Rick and I were, were, were about rolling on the floor. Oh, really? Oh, my God. The, you... I should have recorded more of that. I didn't notice that. Yeah, that was an interesting reaction. <laughs> I almost hit the TV, I guess. <laughs> I was like trying to hit and then in the beginning she was seeing the stuff coming at her in the goggles and then taking a step forward and hitting it and then taking a step forward and me <laughs> and on one of them she came down yes. and she smacked the sound bar on the TV pretty hard and was, my son was so worried he was that she had destroyed one of his one of his uh yeah. controls and I was kind of concerned about the TV and sound bar <laughs> You know how I smack, you know? But it, it was funny. It, it was... I, I could possibly see a PlayStation in the, in the future. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> maybe you know, when you... when Yeah, I might try again when Buddy come over to the house. But, uh... It was a really cool experience, though. It was. It was amazing. What else? Um, um, the 4th of July is coming up this weekend. On Thursday. Yeah, we don't really have plans. Normally, we go over to a friend's house. That they they've always hosted the Fourth of July over there uh, since his wife has been here. Yeah. But they're going up to Montana. So. Since it falls on a Thursday, and she has Fridays off anyhow, and he can work remotely anyhow, that they're going up to Montana to see some family of theirs. Yeah, I might just go sleep or just ride or just be trying to be productive. That's for sure. Or pack. That uh. So um, we'll probably we'll probably still go out to uh. The uh, uh park or not the park the uh, Arrowhead Mall watch fireworks. Yeah. No. No. I I will not. I will avoid it. So yeah, and then I, my heart doesn't say no. So I will say no. Okay. I will just uh, stay in the house and maybe try to see the fireworks because I kind of like to have like a romantic movie watch and just see the I'm gosh. game for that because uh so now I, I like really like I like I guess I'm grateful for you the one thing that my takeaway my takeaway this weekend is like 
understanding. So we will give you more details and tips for passive and aggressive. Like, I guess it, oh, it was really cool. We could just put it passive aggressive slash and then to be continued. <laughs> Can I share it something? A little bit, yeah. So like my takeaway for that, because I never, I, f I feel like because I don't have an idea that's how we thought or maybe that's how, how I grow up. You cannot say no. You cannot say, you can always say yes. You cannot say no, but instead of saying no, you're winding up not or not interested on that specific and that's why like you know what i mean and i didn't really learn that one to just be a front of yes or be a front of no i cannot do that my heart does not like that you know and then and now knowing that i like it because today at work some of my manager or supervisor hey can you do this and i said no i cannot do that i'm doing the rapid response before i will say oh i'm on training but i can do it later and winding up it's burden to me already it's it's adding up all my load and today like i was so happy because like it take up four or five of of an issue or a project because i say no and i said well i cannot do that i pushed it back to you and instead of me yeah i can do that in the you know winding up at extend time and winding up so that's a good thing uh, I learned to simplify your life either say yes or either say your no if you cannot do it just don't compromise so by learning to say no it would help um, take away so much projects in your shoulder and um, I will say that that would be my be biggest takeaways cool cool yeah, we had a battery error, so, well, not error, it died. Yeah, life is amazing. <laughs> but I would say the, depending on what goes on, because the 4th is on a Thursday, we talked about trying to go somewhere, but it's not really practical and... It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. I want to stay home and just watch Filipino romantic movies or Filipino romantic comedy movies. Yeah, I wasn't terribly happy. With, what was that one we watched the other it's night? It's like the Dhana. I'm looking again for another love story. So. So, but we're probably just gonna uh, hang out at the house and watch videos and uh, maybe do a maybe grill a steak and a grill. So. Not that much, but Mabo, hi. hi.